Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913. We're let's playing Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, we just started talking with Layla. And now Kiefer wants to know what the heck is going on. Yeah, let's go get grogged up. Grogged up with some Viva Grape. Basically, these kids are 17 and they're drinking alcohol. Excellent. Well, it's alright. Uh, I guess. I was raised in a family where they said you could, you could drink, but, you know, only at dinner time. So, but I don't drink anyways. Anyways, let's bring back this stuff. Viva Grape. Yeah, oh, so you're just gonna take it and, uh, go in there, huh? There's something odd about how he's acting. This Kiefer person. Yeah. On the on the ocean. And there's a prince yeah, he's talking about himself. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Jan is a good man. Here, here. Whoa. -oh. gonna be a bit angry. Whoa! That guy's told us we call us an SOB. Uh, no. I wasn't. Maybe Kiefer was. No oh, man, he's pretty uh, hot-headed there. And I was able to calm down Jan before he totally decked Kiefer in the face. And then we all sat down and drank. And then Kenshin fell asleep. After their conversation, yes. So, drunken party. And then, uh oh. This doesn't sound good. Fight music. Come on, yo. Uh oh. There's some sort of fight music. Uh oh. That monster is attacking something. Man eater do 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 Alright, that's enough of that. Oh, we beat him. Dats is Layla's dad. Okay. I think I mentioned that in the other episode. But yeah. Kiefer just protected Dats and Layla. Well not Dats, I mean you didn't beat him. You didn't beat the monster. Yeah, how are they sneaking into this camp? You got some fresh air. Oh. You were only talking? Uh, I guess. You are my friend. I guess I could believe you. Mm. Yeah, we could have used my swordsmanship. Because I'm pretty good with the sword, supposedly. I don't know how I learned how to use a sword. But now it looks like Dats is injured. Uh oh. And he is poisoned. Yeah, but they set out for the temple tomorrow. Who's gonna protect everyone? Dats is the only warrior in the village. Oh, Kiefer is gonna stay behind. Kiefer has been acting rather weird. Okay, yeah, that's true, Kenshin. Well, I mean, that, yes, I will go with them, but that is true, Keeper is pretty strong. Yep, yep, we could end the, a long journey in the rest of this game. Yeah, alright, we'll go to the thingamabob, a.k.a. the temple. So, I guess we're gonna head off, then. And, for some reason, Kiefer and Layla and Dats are gonna stay behind. Yep. Alright, he will. This just seems odd. All of a sudden, yes, you better respect Layla. Mary 
Bell is definitely the rock in this group, you know what I mean? She's keeping us together. It is odd that, that they'd let an outsider. But we need the Terror Bell. Yeah, the Tula Plane to fend off monsters. I guess Bards are pretty good at that. So Jan can't stay behind. Yeah, being a chief is a P in the A, I believe. Alright, so they're gonna set up camp past the... something, past the cave. And basically, we'll head there with them, but... Let's check in. Yeah, we'll probably see God. I always wanted to see God, too, I guess. I mean, not that I thought much about it. Yes, we are. No, we haven't. Alright, man. This just seems odd. And this seems like foreboding, this whole thing. Yeah, he does seem happier than usual. Yeah, Dejan's produce father. Uh, they don't produce fighters, and basically, his dad's really not like Dejan, I guess. Her dad, I mean. Whatever. You know what I mean. Dax isn't officially a Dejan, I guess. So let's head off to the... To the cave. So basically, I go west. Northwest. And if... Uh... Let's see. This is the first time without Kiefer in a while. And ever, actually. It's kind of odd. But first thing you gotta do... Well, I mean, if you need to go up here to this little church shrine area and if you forgot to save you could save it here you can also get healed up by an odd thing by a cat look at that I just gotta get healed by a cat he's he's uh... Toons is the healing cat he can't drive anymore because they suspended his license so now he lives in the shrine and totally just uh does stuff so anyways we gotta go through this cave the cave to the shrine to god the hidden cave to the shrine of the hidden god saving uh thingamabob i don't know if that's really what this is it's just i don't i don't even remember what the hell the cave's called let's call it lake cave and, and we we have a little bit, excuse me, we arrive on the other side. Oh, I see what you're getting at, Gabo. Gabo. Call him Gabo. Damn it, I gotta work on that. Anyways, yeah. He, uh, he said dog tired. He'll make plenty of dog jokes and wolf jokes and stuff like that. So yeah, the, uh, the, the lake is, uh, a little further west, but we, we're taking a pit stop. Now get me in the agility seat. Yeah, Jan loves her. He wants to marry her, but he has, an, a, he has a divine mark as well? Or does she have a divine mark? No, I don't need nothing. So someone has a divine mark. I know, and I think Layla has one. And these people are sleeping. And these people are sleeping as well. No, we're not, not yet. Basically, to continue the sequence, we must rest up. But we're not gonna bother. We're just going to continue to look around here. And they have a cool bell thingy. Yeah, because they don't have any fighters. So if they got, they got attacked by monsters in the middle of the night, they'd be totally screwed. But luckily we're here to help them out, I guess. So it looks like they, they really are nomads, man. They set up tents and they just go. They just go. So let's uh, continue on, because there's no one here. And we'll head over to the cave 
or the lake to the west here. There, southwest. And there we go. And here we are at the cave, at the lake area. The Temple of God is at the bottom of the lake. Really? That is quite interesting. We will have to uncover the water of this lake in the next episode. Bye-bye.